Hello everyone and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. It's that time of the year again when I'll be setting up my garden and outdoor display and I have a number of things that I want to share with you that I will be delivering to my Vintage Touch Antique booth in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland on Wednesday, March 15, 2017. That, of course, is assuming that we can get out since we did have a big snow last night, but I am planning to, so let me just dive right in. I've got, I've got the things right here in front of me, plus some on the side over here on my counter, so there's quite a few things, and I want to go through them quickly so this video is not too long. So quickly, let's look. I've got here a very weathered all wood, great folk art piece, duck decoy, and that piece is priced at $29. I've got a couple of lawn sprinklers. This, this one here on the front is just designed to attach to your garden hose, and it's a stationary lawn sprinkler. That one's priced at $10. Then I have one that does revolve with the sprinkler head there and it is a Lafayette brass manufacturing piece this one is priced at fifteen dollars I have a great little bird or chick feeder there it's a short one very cute and that one is priced at sixteen dollars along with the waterer there with the jar that empties into the little galvanized dish and that one is priced at ten dollars Going along the front here, I have a McCoy little flower pot that has the saucer, that type, a great little white one for $10. And this is a huge, I'll put my hand here so you can see how huge, it's bigger than my hand, huge flower frog. It has the needlepoint flower frog inside of the cage. That one is priced at $25. I have a little song restore tin here. I guess I have the, I'm not going to be able to get that open. I'm sorry, and I've got the tag down inside. But that is French's song restore. It's probably around eight dollars, but I'm not sure. Here's a great book that I have. It's called How Plants Grow, and it's from it's dated, copyrighted, 1858, and that is really an unusual book. Those. Uh, plants, uh, you know, kind of uh, garden type books are very hard to come by that's from the 19th century. That one is priced for $13. The name of it is Botany for Young People, How Plants Grow. Great piece. I have a boot jack here um, that makes a, a nice decorative piece and this one is priced at $18. Oh, incidentally, the I think I don't know if I remember to tell you that's $13. Sometimes I forget these prices. I go too fast. And this is a nice, now I showed this in one of my haul videos, and this is a nice arts and crafts copper cauldron. It has that wonderful dove tail joints around the edges there, as you can see. The handle is missing, but still a very early piece, four and a half inches tall and that one's priced at $35. This is a little wire cage that someone has put together and it was designed to transport the queen bee and that one is priced at $8. Here's a berry pail, granite ware blue with white interior with the bale handle, priced at $10. And here is a woodpecker folk art piece that does, that's a mechanical piece that does move when you pull the string. I'm not going to try to do that. One hand is just too hard. And he is priced at $29. Then I have this wicker fishing creel. This is an early one. I have a, <laughs> I have a rubber band around there to keep that together, but that comes off. Um, the latch here on the front is the only thing that's broken. It's a nice early one. That's priced a nice large size too, and that one's priced at twenty dollars. Let me move around here a little bit. And here is a nice size galvanized watering can with the bale wood handle top. 
That one's priced at $29. I always sell a lot of watering cans, so I like to have them. Then I have this uh, 1930s football team photo in an antique frame there. Hope that clears up for you so that you can see their early uniforms and that picture is priced and I'm sorry but I do not know where that team is from that would be nice to know but I have no way of knowing that priced at $15 also I have galvanized bucket here that I have Let's see if I can find my tag that I have priced at $10 and inside of here a uh, quite assortment of old garden hand tools and just a variety of different ones. I usually price them between seven and nine dollars, usually around that eight dollar mark, unless um, you know they're a little there's something more unusual or sometimes once in a while I get one uh, really um, good deal on and I'll price it for a little less. And this long handled you can see here I've got it laying out here uh, it has a strainer on the end, and I think that's used to, um, it's like a sand scoop. I'm not sure exactly what it would have been used for, but that one is priced at $12. And then I'm going to move over here to my countertop. And I am going to start at this end so I can move things this way. Because Easter's coming up, I've got a few Easter items that I'm putting in to the shop. I'm holding this a little bit so it will clear up. There we go. This is a great little glass, milk glass, Easter, I mean egg, that has hand, that is hand painted, decorated there. And that is priced at $12 and I have it um, in this wonderful little egg shaped strainer which these kind of things make great display pieces incidentally for things like these eggs and so forth and that's priced the holder there is priced at eight dollars then I have a paper mache egg candy container it is West German has the Dresden lace inside again it's going to be hard for me to get it apart so I'm not going to try and that one is priced at fifteen dollars and then I have this paper mache rabbit. He's got old straw there in his basket in the back. He does have some surface rubs, which is um, characteristic, as you can see there, and around the bottom, which is characteristic of paper mache. This one is nine inches tall, and he is priced at $25 great Easter piece. I've got some of my fishing collectibles out here and I'll start with this piece. This is a I don't know if it's real leather or not but it's simulated and this is for fly fishing to hold your fly your flies in it and um, these are heavy thick felt pads that you uh, keep all that in between secure and it closes up like this. Great old piece. That one, oops, I didn't see the price. <laughs> that one is priced at $15. Then I just have a stringer. Put your fish on when you catch them for just $2 and a little strainer for Bapes or maybe even an aquarium for four dollars. Okay, and then I have this nice bait bucket with the bail handle. This one does have the lift out inside, and that bucket with the green band is priced at $29. Here is a fishing reel, early fishing reel. This is called a skeleton style because of the open design there. That one is priced at eight dollars. And then here this is 
old fishing line on a winder and again the winder is a very early piece priced at six dollars here's a pencil bobber or float I did sell one of these recently online I do have this one now for to put in the shop and it's priced at nine dollars and then this is a bait box designed to fit over your belt there with the wires as you can see the ventilated top that lifts up and that's priced at nine dollars in the back here along with the garden tool section I've got this little it's a bulb planter that you put push down in the ground so that you can plant your bulbs deeply in the ground for six dollars and I'm going to oops, set that out of the way got the little sand bucket here all metal twelve dollars with the little sand shovel for ten I have here Hudson bug sprayer this has the green glass reservoir clean works some people use these for misting their flowers as well and that one's priced at twelve dollars have this great little child's watering can it's a high art it does it does have some surface rust and so forth but still a lot of charm with it and that one is priced at twelve dollars and I have a larger bucket here very primitive heavy gauge priced at ten dollars great look on that one and in the back here if you can see it it's an old painted sign that says sweet corn and what's it what's really unique about it is the the N is upside down there or backwards I should say but again wood painted old sign that's just great for this type of display or in your garden room or on your porch or whatever and that one is priced at twenty five dollars so that concludes what will be delivered March 15th to my Vintage Touch Antique booth and I would ask you to check the description of the video where you can find links to my webpage where I have many featured items with prices there that you can see as well as the link to my Vintage Touch online store where I sell a variety of antique and vintage pieces and let me invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification button so you don't have to miss any of my videos and let me encourage you to share and like and and of course comment and then finally don't forget to enjoy your antiques and your collecting because when you own an antique you own a piece of history so bye bye till next time